Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. So before we get started today, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can get an email or any kind of notification every single time a new video drops. Okay, so today, you might have noticed that my hair looks a little bit bigger than normal. Would you believe me if I said that I washed my hair 20 minutes ago? Yes, girl. I have finally found like the right kind of products, the right kind of techniques in order to achieve this kind of volume on day one. Like this is unheard of for my hair. And nobody got time to be waiting till day three, day four to get this kind of body. I really just wanted to find something that would get me this kind of volume on day one and that's exactly what we achieved here today. So let's just jump on into it. Whew. I'm looking a little ratchet right now, but that's okay because it's Sunday, Sunday fun day, and it's time to wash this hair. So you guys have seen me wash my hair multiple times. So I'm gonna go through this part kind of quickly. The most important part of this video is gonna be the way that I style it in order to get like the greatest amount of volume. Cause today we are going for some volume. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead, wet my hair and cleanse. So to cleanse today, I'm using the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. Same kind of technique as always. I'm just gonna section my hair into two parts and then just comb the co-wash through my curls. Whew, can we just take a second to appreciate this growth? Look at how long my hair is getting. Yes. All right, so now that my hair is cleansed, I am gonna go in with some conditioner. So for conditioner, I'm gonna use the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Rice and Amino Plus Shea Curl Defining Conditioner. Close up of these curls, though. All right, so I let the conditioner sit in my hair for a little bit. I love this conditioner. Like it feels, it just feels good. Like it feels super hydrating, but still kind of lightweight. Like you can see my hair isn't weighed down right now. It's still really like bouncy and light. All right, so just gonna go ahead and rinse this out now. All right, so I never actually fully rinse out my conditioner. Sorry, I meant to say that. So I did go ahead and leave a little bit of it in. You don't wanna leave too much in, but you wanna leave a little bit in so your hair is still getting that moisture and that love. I just, I always do that. No matter what kind of conditioner, every wash day, I always leave a teensers of conditioner behind in my hair. All right, so to style, because today we're kind of really mainly trying to focus on volume, I'm just gonna use one product, and that is gonna be, also by Briogeo, it's their Curl Charisma. So this is a chia and flaxseed coil custard. So using just this product is a major key to getting volume because when you use gel, it's definitely gonna give you more of like an intense curl definition. Instead today, because we're looking for volume, I'm going for using a cream-based product, which is this coil custard. A second major tip for this video is also styling your hair while it's soaking wet. So although we're going for volume, no one likes volume without a little bit of curl definition. You know, you still need a little bit. I am dripping all over. As I was saying, I kind of prefer when I have volume to still have a little bit of curl definition in there. So how we're gonna achieve that is by styling our hair while it's still dripping wet, so as you can see, still in the shower, and then just combing through that coil custard. So the combing through action is what's really gonna give us that volume because that's gonna then eliminate any kind of curl clumps or anything like that. But then because it's still wet and we are using a coiling custard, it's still gonna allow us to have definition. So right there, we're getting that mix of volume and definition, which is what we're trying to go for. You're just gonna wanna continue to just comb this through to make sure that the product is very evenly distributed throughout your hair. All right, so here are what my curls look like. A little bit white from that product, but that is gonna go away once we dry it. So as you can see, no frizz here. Boom. All right, so 
So now, all right, so now that the products, find me, okay. All right, so now that the product has been fully applied to my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hair. I'm gonna use a diffuser and kind of pull my curls down as I'm diffusing it. That action is also gonna give us kind of like, it's kind of trying to stretch your curls, make them a little bit longer, and also loosen up the curls a little bit to give us that volume. Again, that's like, what, number three major tip of this video. Okay, so I just wanted to stop mid-diffusing to show you guys a little something. Like you can see here at the top, it's kind of hard to catch this on camera, but we are like starting to get a little bit of frizz coming in here. And I feel like that's like really important to note. When you're trying to get volume, frizz is gonna be your best friend, okay? It's just a matter of finding the right balance. You obviously don't wanna have way more frizz than anything else because then you're just gonna look a little crazy. But a little bit of frizz is good. Like you don't wanna freak out just because, ooh, it's looking a little frizzy. Like no, we're gonna get some good volume today. So I'm just gonna keep diffusing and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm done diffusing. We are not 100% you know, dry, but it has completely stopped dripping on me now. And as you can see, the volume is there. Usually when I wash my hair in my regular way, day one is very and put together, and then I have to wait until like day two, day three to get this kind of volume. But no longer do we have to wait. We want volume on day one. Another thing you can do to get increased volume is to kind of just shake your head around like this. So if you notice, I normally part my hair when I'm drying it, but I haven't parted it yet because I kind of wanted to be able to flash my hair around like this to really just encourage more and more volume. All right, so I'm pretty much just gonna keep kind of playing with it, fluffing up my hair like this, and just let the rest air dry on its own. And then, once it's fully dry, I will be back to show y'all the final result. Boom, we're back. My hair is fully dry now, and I seriously cannot believe that we achieved this much volume on day one of wash day. Like I, honestly, this is unheard of for my hair, but this just goes to show you that technique is everything. It doesn't matter what kind of products you, I mean, okay, no, the products matter, but technique matters like just as much. I'm actually really happy with this. I'm actually really, really happy the way this came out because I feel like we have like the perfect, perfect balance between volume and curl definition. Like, it just looks big and happy and juicy. But yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Comment below any of your favorite product recommendations for big, voluminous hair. Um, I would love to see what kind of products you guys use and we can also, you know, help out others who may be looking through the comments, you know, get this little natural hair community up and going. So yeah, I will catch you in my next video. Bye.